taking action and fighting for her team. A soccer coach in the White Mountains thankful for a recent decision that will let her team and many others keep playing. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke following up on a recent decision by the AIA. You drove two hours down? Three, almost three and a half. Brittany Hamlin didn't let distance keep her from fighting for her team. She's the girls' soccer coach at Blue Ridge High School up in the White Mountains. On Monday, she made the drive to the Valley to hear what the Arizona Interscholastic Association, or the AIA, had to say about a proposed schedule change. We get 12 inches of snow in one snowfall. The idea was to move all sanctioned girls' soccer from the fall to the winter. Earlier this month, AIA Executive Director David Hines told us that there's fewer than 12 girls' soccer teams in the entire state that play in the fall. But for the Yellow Jackets and the White Mountains, playing in the winter was a safety concern. Last year, there was 20 days either delayed or canceled due to winter weather. Well, they're going to get hurt. They're going to get sick. A key issue? If there's only winter competition, the Northern Arizona teams playing in the fall wouldn't get a chance at a state title. And to some, that may be the only opportunity to be seen by those recruiting to play at the next level. So when it came time for the board to make a call, Hamlin said the discussions dissolved and no changes were made. To proceed forward with a bright future for all of our girls. So it was awesome. We had two girls on the mountain just this week, this last week, commit to playing college soccer on scholarship. So it was just a wonderful, it's just been great. Happy Thanksgiving. We're so happy. Since our last story, Coach Hamlin said it caught the eyes of other schools in the same boat, even a lawmaker who showed up at the AIA in support of them. On this Thanksgiving, we're thankful to be trusted with stories like these. The AIA made the right decision, and we are just incredibly grateful to them and to everybody who helped push it along. Jordan Bonke, ABC 15, Arizona. Jordan, thanks.